Hi, I'm Alan, this is Alan's Firearms and Guns Plus More. Thanks for joining me. Today, this is the Power Ordnance Expert carry. It is sort of like my Warthog, which I'm going to do a revisit of right after I do this one, uh, one I just got in. But this is the single stack version. But what they did was they did lengthen the grip. So they give you a full size grip. Seven rounds, and it's the slim body. So that's the Para Expert carry. Beautiful gun. This one has some enhancements. It's got Wilson Combat uh, main ho spring housing. It's got Wilson Combat hammer, uh, slide, stop, release, and safety. So these buttons are enhanced. Main spring housing. It's pretty cool. It's got this like um, snakeskin type of texture on it. It looks pretty cool. nice. Stainless steel barrel. It, it's it's a pretty nice one. This is just like the one I own. This also, but but this is in good shape. Mine's a mess. This also has night sights, so that's a nice uh, add-on. So this has been decked out because it doesn't normally come with night sights. This one has them, and it doesn't have all this beautiful Wilson Combat stuff on there. Nice big eight round magazine. I think that's about it on the opening. So without any further ado, let's get to the workbench. Welcome to the workbench. And here we have the Para Ordnance Expert Carry. This is the way it comes packaged. The lock, manual, the second mag, and the firearm. Of course, this one has been detailed. It has this nice snakeskin textured mainspring housing. It's got this beautiful high polished stainless steel hammer high polished stainless steel um, slide release and safety. It has a stainless steel mag release and a stainless steel barrel, it, uh, which is a match grade barrel. The rest of the gun is, uh, the, the rest of the, the slide is stainless, the rest of the gun is stainless, but it's uh, got a nitrite finish on it to blacken it. And it's also got night sights, which here is the sight picture. And I wonder if I turn the lights off, if you guys can see the night sights glow, which is pretty nice. But you can see the beautiful texture on the shocking and these nice bright parts. I wish they would have put in a nice stainless steel, bright stainless steel trigger. I think it would have gone off so well. I mean, you got the, the stainless steel barrel and everything else, but hey, you know, they did a nice job. It's gorgeous. So hopefully I'll make a couple bucks on it. It's got a full size grip on there, eight round magazine, so you can carry nine rounds. It is a single action auto, which means the trigger does one thing. You pull the trigger and it goes bang. Pull the trigger again, nothing happens unless it went bang. And in that case, it will eject the shell and recock. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how to take this puppy apart. Very simple. Um, unlike most 1911s where you take the bushing out of the front, this does not have a bushing. You remove the magazine. You put, I put my thumb in here so I can get a grip on the front and I pull this back to meet that half semicircle in with this. I push on it and that way I can just pull out this pin. Now I can slowly let it go and it relieves the tension and comes out. There you have it. Now this, we remove this by we push this forward and up and it comes over and there we have this. Now this spring, if it happens to come off, has to go on with the open end forward and the turned in and down on the spring end. Now we can push the little cam that holds the spring housing cam out 
And now we can move this barrel. We got to put the that cam forward, the lug forward, and now we can take it apart. And there we go. Completely disassembled. So let us now do a cleaning. I'm using going to use strike hold to make my job easier. With strike hold, it's a cleaner, protect it and lubricate in one. I clean the gun with it and then I'm done. But for those of you who have old fashioned cleaners, I will use oil and show you how to oil it when I'm done cleaning it. If you want to know more about this product, I have two videos online on my channel. You can look at them. So the first thing I'm going to do, and you don't have to do everything in the same order I'm doing it, but I'm going to get this barrel first, only because when I took this apart, I saw that there's some wax in here. Someone put wax on the inside of this gun. Wax is great on the outside, but not on the inside. And I want to get that off of here because it's really bugging the crap out of me. Okay, so there we go. That's out. I don't know if he did this or if it was like that. Maybe the uh, gunsmith put grease in there that just looks like wax. I don't know, but I'm going to get that out. Now, these are the locking lugs, the locking cams. These lock up. Take a look inside the slide. You hear those clicking? Okay, because they, I'm running over them. There's slots in there that match up with these slots, and when the barrel's back and it falls into place, it locks the barrel still, and that's what keeps the barrel steady when you fire. Once you fire it and it goes to the shooting position, um, the barrel can tilt and move, which it's supposed to do, to allow easier ramp feeding. Okay, so we got the, the barrel clean. I'm going to get in here, make sure this lug is nice and clean. I'm going to make sure I get pay particular attention to the feeding ramps. I say ramps because this has ramps throughout the whole thing, especially para. They are known for their special open-end ramps and their systems of rampage. They're rapidly rampaging their ramps. So clean out the barrel. You want to make sure they have that you rapidly clean their ramps. Yes, I was being funny. Okay, so now I'm going to clean off this pin. Wipe it down. Looks really pretty. Let's keep it that way. Okay. Spring. Little cam. I'm saving the big parts for last for a change. Give my um, give it a little variety to my videos. Okay, we're ready for the big parts. Okay, so I'm going to take my stick with some cleaning fluid or strike hold, and I'm going to get all in here. I'm going to make sure I get the slide rails, make sure they're clean, because that's where you get a lot of metal to metal contacts. You want to get all the dirt and grit out of there, otherwise as your gun is being used, that dirt and grit is like sandpaper and it's just going to wear out and uh, open up these slots, and as they wear out and open up, you're going to get, I mean, it's fixable, but you're going to get a sloppy, sloppy shooting gun. And it's fixable if you can find a gunsmith who knows what he's doing, that knows how to um, tune a 1911. And that has to be done by someone who knows what he's doing. It has to be done by a, gun, a good qualified gunsmith. Otherwise, he'll just fuck you up good. Okay, and you can see I'm just getting, wiping down all the flat areas I got in here, okay, get the back of that. Now what's really important is we make got to make sure our battery is clean. Because if we don't get the battery clean, we can have all sorts of problems, especially underneath the power ejector. And that's what 
the power extractor, excuse me, that is what they have in their gun, and they call it a power extractor. Why? I don't know. Why does Ford call a door a door? Because I guess it's a door. Okay, so there we go. Let's get on to this on here. Get my rails on my frame inside and the top. Okay, and then I'm going to wipe down the inside of this. I'm going to check my ejector, make sure it's in good shape. Now, any place that you touch with cleaner, you have to then touch it with oil. Because if you don't, what you'll end up with is a bloody mess. After a month, weeks, a year, whatever, all the gun cleaner you use on your gun, wherever you didn't hit it with oil, those areas are going to start to look worn out. You're going to lose finish. Put this on your follower and come up underneath your feeding fingers and wipe down your magazine. Um, and the reason that your gun is going to look like crap is because even though, even if you wipe it, the, the cleaner off, it's still eating away at your gun. That's what it does. It eats away at dirt. It's going to eat away at your gun. So you have to hit it with oil because it will deactivate it and make it safe. Okay, so here I'm going to go in here. I'm going to clean out the magazine well and the grip magazine magazine well. I'm cleaning it out. Okay, there we go. Okay, so there we go. So now what's left to do? Oil it. Take a cloth, three drops of oil, one. One, two, three. And I'm going to take the first bit of oil and I'm going to oil this place that gets metal to metal contact. So we make sure we get our frame rails nice and oiled. And you notice I'm just using an oily cloth and touching oil onto it. Over oiling a gun is not good. It does not make it feed any better. It doesn't make it slide any better. In fact, it usually screws up the gun. And it gives a place that dirt can attract itself to. That's why I put on a cloth. Because now I'm just wiping it on, getting rid of the residue that's left behind by that gun cleaner. And I'm not over oiling the gun and making my gun a bloody mess. Okay, so there's that part. Now we have the slide. So I'm going to add three more drops of oil. These slide rails, the slide slots. So I put this into the slide slots and a few times up and down, up and down, gets it nice and oily. Now I can get the, the hard to reach areas. And then I could take this off and use my finger and get all of this where I touched it with oil when I opened the gun up. Make sure I get those locking cam slots clean. Now, the barrel, cam slots. This cam, ramp. I'm gonna put a little extra oil on here. Put that through the chamber and through the barrel. cam and the spring. Okay, and we have, let's see if I can get this gun back together quick because I don't want to have to redo. Okay, so here, take the barrel and put it in the front. Cam has got to be down. Lift the can up, cam up. Spring cam goes in with the little grooves down. Open front of the spring forward. Put that on, match up your frame uh, rails with your slide rails. You get your lined up in the hole. It would be better if I put it on to the right side, right? Okay, now this, this has got to go through both the, this hole and that cam, the, the hole in the cam. Now what we got to do is slide this back so that 
half moon is there. Function check, that works. Slide stop works, slide works. That safety works, that safety works, and it discharges when it's supposed to. So there we have it, the Power Ordnance Expert Carry. Hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe. See you next time.